precautions are laid out for us by our um, health experts, our public health experts. And so that means that anytime legislators are in a room together in small numbers, we always have our masks on. Uh, we are remotely participating in committee and votes. So while I'm here in my office, many representatives are participating from their home offices. And in some cases, um, the testing requirements that we have are utilized for people who are in the offices. So for example, this morning, I went downstairs, took about 10 minutes for me to go through the line to get tested and came back up to my office. And within those 10 minutes, I had a message that came to my phone to give me the results of my test. So we are definitely distanced and we're testing to make sure that this is a safe environment. Um, in addition to that, when we uh, go to the floor for votes, we have staff there that uh, we cannot do this work without. So we really need to make sure that they are also safe. So people who are on the floor and near that staff are required to have um, their vaccinations up to date. Um, it's really ensure, it really important for us to make sure that the house is operating and that's why we felt it was so important to have these precautions in place. Well, last year when we had a remote session, we broke every record when it came to public access and we are going to keep in place the protocols we use that allowed us to do that and we'll also keep in place the protocols we had um, from the past. So because we are remote, uh, you can watch all of our committee meetings as if you were in town. Um, they will be broadcast on uh, the TVW website. The floor debates will be broadcast. You can also look to see how legislators from your area are voting. And uh, there are also a number of other events, like there are times when legislators and community members uh, weigh in and report on some of the programming, how they feel and what they think needs to be considered when we're in session. You can learn about the entire legislative process from start to finish. It's explained on a website that we have here um, at the legislature, which is intended for you to have an opportunity to learn about the process. You can research, you can look up legislation that you really care about. You can look it up by the lawmaker who's introduced the bill. You can look it up by topic. And um, there's a website again that lists for you not only what the bill um, seeks to change in the law, but also who supports and who opposes. Finally, you can testify. Like I said, last year we broke all kinds of records for public access. And one of those was how many people were able to participate by testifying on bills using the remote process. Here you can see that no matter where you are in Washington state, you can weigh in to remote testify on any of the bills that we're considering without having to be in Olympia. To contact me, you can call us at the office 360-786 7872. Remember, we are remote, so email might be a little faster. You can find the email uh, address on my website. You can also sign up for my e-newsletter e at the website. So if you're not already on my mailing list, it might be helpful to follow the work there. And then finally, you can follow me on Facebook. As you can see, we are taking all of the necessary precautions to have a safe and successful session. I'm really looking forward to this session and looking forward to hearing from you.